we're in solution mode, we'll be, uh, I've been telling the CEOs to meet me in Ottawa next week. We're gonna look at the market, we're gonna look at what we can do together to uh, tackle uh, price inflation we've seen in, in the price of food. And, and I think this is something that Canadians uh, have been uh, looking for because, you know, my message to them is enough is enough. Well, that was the Federal Industry Minister, Francois-Philippe Champagne, speaking with Vashi Kipralos here on the show on Thursday about his plan to try and stabilize grocery prices. Starts with summoning Canada's big five grocery chain CEOs to Ottawa on Monday for a meeting. Loblaws, Sobeys, Metro, Costco and Walmart. Now, we did invite the heads of all those companies onto this program tonight. None of them said they were available, but they are represented by the Retail Council of Canada. And the council's senior vice president, Carl Littler, was available and he joins us right now. Carl, good to see you. Thanks for taking the time for the show. Thank you. Cut through all the noise here. What's going to come out of this meeting, do you think? Well, I think it's an exploratory meeting. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, we're not going to come up with a solution on Monday morning. Uh, obviously, from a grocery perspective, we're always happy to have a dialogue with the, with the government about uh, important issues. Canadians are obviously struggling with some of the impacts of inflation. And to the extent that there's a good faith uh, discussion, uh, seeking solutions in this space, then, you know, our, our members, our CEOs are going to be there. Is it actually going to result, Carl, though, in lower prices in the grocery stores? Well, certainly not directly. Uh, you know, the, the grocers are doing a lot already. Um, maybe they don't get credit for all that they're doing, but certainly some of the emphasis on discount, on private label product, uh, working hard to uh, contain uh, price increases from vendors. I think the thing that needs to be remembered here is that, uh, you know, seven to eight tenths of the price of any item uh, that you buy at a grocery store is actually baked in before it, the grocers ever get it because, of course, they buy it from manufacturers and processors. And so any solution or even any discussion that doesn't include the sort of full food supply chain uh, is obviously going to be um, pretty hampered right from the start. I know the Competition Bureau of Canada, Carl, you're aware of this, found in June that the grocery business in our country doesn't have enough competition, dominated by just a couple of giants, and we do know many of them make record profits. So why not do a little more to help Canadians? Perhaps a little bit less profit, but to help ease some of the pain. Well, I think the first thing to understand is that grocery profits are low. We are talking typically 2 to 4% profit. So, you know, when you when you look at it in that vantage point, the numbers sound large because across $100 billion, even 3%, is, you know, sounds like a very large number. But the reality is that the other 97% of prices is on, is on the cost side. And so that's the first thing. I guess the second thing I would say about competition, and it isn't a couple of grocers. I mean, there's, you know, five that are attending this meeting, but there are a great many more grocers besides regional grocers and so forth. Um, I think there's a kind of a conundrum in the, um, in the Competition Bureau report. The Competition Bureau calls, as it always does, for more competition, and one would expect them to do that. But it's interesting that when they looked uh, to some of the big international discounters, Lidl, Aldi, some of those folks that are present in, say, US markets, Australian markets, and asked them, why aren't you in Canada? The answer was because the market is so competitive already. So, you know, the Competition Bureau's answer is to bring in new entrants and, you know, welcome, uh, come, you know, come and compete. But uh, some of those entrants on an international basis are actually shying away from Canada because they think mm. that Canada's grocers do such a great job of being competitive already. Hey, Carl, on Thursday, the prime minister said, and I quote, it's not OK that our biggest grocery stores are making record profits while Canadians are struggling to put food on the table, end quote. Can I get your reaction to what Justin Trudeau said? Well, I guess, you know, it's it's to repeat the point that grocery profits move within a band of about two to four percent. And that's the, the total number. And so you don't address price inflation by looking at two to four percent of the problem and leaving the other 96 to 98 percent untalked about. And and obviously some of those are grocers own expenses. I mean, you know, they have 400,000 employees. They have thousands of stores. Um, all of those costs, but really where the bulk of the cost and the bulk of the inflation has come is on the vendor side. And that's, that's not to blame vendors. Um, you know, vent, I mean, there has been some opportunism, but for the most part, vendors are just dealing with their pressures that arise from spikes in the price of grain, of fuel, of fertilizer, um, you know, rising interest costs. There have uh, been a lot of climate events actually that affected uh, produce. So it was a bit of a perfect storm. I know that's a trite phrase, but it was a bit of a perfect storm at least last year. We're seeing some of that abate now. 
And, and that has to be central to the discussion or it's not going to be that productive. The prime minister also saying that the chains have got until Thanksgiving, Carl, to share plans to stabilize prices. And he said, look, if you don't, let me be very clear, we're going to take action that could include tax measures. What do you think of that threat? <laughs> Well, look, I think the government's going to uh, stake out its position. Obviously, uh, you know, the government was uh, moving to reassure Canadians that it uh, has an action plan with respect to uh, to some of the issues that are, 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 are causing angst. Um, you know, we expect that we're going to hear that. But I think the reality is that if they properly understand how the grocery market works and they properly understand how comparatively low grocery profits are compared to almost any other Canadian industry that it would be uh, you know pretty uh, an odd choice to actually slap further taxation on top of uh, on top of the food industry and just quickly are you worried this is going to be kind of like a political naming and shaming Carl for the grocery chains trying to make them look bad I know the NDP has long been portraying grocery chains as greedy yeah, look, I think, you know, it, it is uh, it is one of those times where, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, movement politically at this point, a lot of uh, concern among several of the parties about their current standing. So I think you're going to get a political reaction. That said, I think there's, you know, legitimate concern here, which is is that, uh, you know, Canadians are obviously challenged by some of the inflation uh, that uh, some of the effects of inflation on their daily lives. I think that part of it has to be taken seriously. And I think there's some goodwill in that regard. But yeah, there's an element of posturing in this. And we're hoping that, you know, with maybe a better understanding of how, uh, how grocery actually works and how grocery shelf prices or checkout prices come to be, that maybe we'll have a more rational discussion and one that actually looks at it from the ground up rather than sort of cherry picks for political purposes. Carl Littler with the Retail Council of Canada. Thank you, Carl. Thank you.